Thanks for staying with us. So today we'll just go right into what we found in the news. Um, so Tammy, you're going to go first. <laughs> what did you find for us in the news? Okay. So I'm having difficulty bringing up my new my story though, oh, but okay. I, th I think I can just do mm. a recap. Okay, so it's on this day, and I think it's also on Punch newspaper. Yeah, um, I found that the a loan has been approved. The World Bank approves 1.5 billion naira for Nigeria to reduce poverty. Mm. You know, it's a part of the f a five-year um, project, mm -hmm. and I found that. It's basically, I looked into the implications for this, spoke to a few people who are economists, and I found that, okay, the implication of this loan for us is that there's going to be more money to fund our budget, because this is $1.5 billion, that's in Naira, sorry, mm. $1.5 billion, and there's also going to be more dollars for the CBN Reserve. So that story, I'm trying to bring up further details and see, because the, the initiative is a whole part of a four-year plan, well, I, I don't have it here, but I know it's a part of a four-year plan or five years, 2021 to 2025, I think. And it's going to be to alleviate poverty in Nigeria, just reduce hardship and effects of COVID. So I hope that this fund is um, hmm. used properly because 1.5 billion is a lot. I, I mean, it's a loan, so Nigeria is going to have to pay back eventually. Although I hear that it's with not so much interest because it's coming from the World Bank. But I hope that um, we use this loan well we, we can account for it and it serves the purpose for which it was actually do we really given. need the loan that's the question i wish uh, i wish financial i wish Tammy was here, was here. <laughs> i wish Tammy was here to break it down for you us. know i just wish where is Tammy, yo, our finance guru i wish she was here because do we really need that loan you know because now i think it's making sense now my story listening which to your one? story now Le my story is making story. sense yes okay. because i was wondering where they want to get money to bring back subsidy, right? Uh, payment of subsidy. So um, um, they said Nigerian government caves in and returns to subsidy of gasoline consumption. That's the story. And this is from AfricaOilAndGasReport.com. Uh, it says that Niger Nigeria has um, renerged on its decision to remove subsidy on gasoline consumption following the agitations of NM, NLC. Mm. The government on the 8th of um, December ruled that the pump price of products be reviewed downward. You know, they capped it. I'm trying to find the, um, the story. So it, it, it was, um, so now it says, um, premium motor spirit, otherwise known as petrol, is gonna be moved from 168 per liter to 162.44 per liter, effective December 14th, 2020 is a major this you know people are saying it this is a major reversal of a victory that the um proponent of the reforms in the pricing and energy sector had won and it's so true because we know the amount of corruption that went into payment of subsidies right so now we have worked so hard they had mm. taken out the subsidy while we're just adjusting to get used to the fact that there's no money anywhere that we'll be paying to some marketers and all of that, you now come back to say, you know what, you want to cap it. So I don't know. It's like we take one step forward in Nigeria like we and take, we take like 50 backwards. steps backwards because this is not good for the economy. For an economy that is suffering, you have a huge overhead in terms of, um, what's it called, um, payment of, uh, what's it called, um, salaries, um, What's the, the name of the expenditure, self Recurrent, or what's the, the grammar that these finance people use? Like right? You know, you, you have a lot of overhead that you're paying. The government alone, uh, the government already, sorry, is already bloated with so much expenses. So now you're coming back to say you want to reverse what people had agitated for to say, you know what, take off the subsidy so that we kill that part of corruption that had been eating deep into our economy. So this, for me, it's not good at all. You know, it's not good at all. And I don't even know how we're going to move on in this country with these kinds of, you know, today cold, tomorrow hot decisions that you take that has to do with your economy. You know, so now when I'm, when I'm listening to My your story, story about them getting a, a loan, you know, for a hundred and, um, how much is it again now? 1.5 million, million, million dollars. Billion dollars, pardon yeah. me, I keep saying that. Do you understand? Billion, oh, yeah. is it billion or it's million? billion. So 1.5 billion dollars. So maybe now it's making sense where the money will come from for them to be able to pay this subsidy because I really don't understand. Yes, but you know, this 1.5 billion dollars from this story, it has certain things that it's supposed to be doing, um, 
I mean, looking at this, I did mention that there's a framework. It's called the partnership, um, country partnership framework. It's from 2021 to 2024. And I haven't read the framework, but from a summary of what I see in the newspapers, I find that there's details of what these funds should be used for. So they're supposed to be certain things that they're targeting to, for example, I think there's something about, um, sorry, this is taking a minute to mm. come up. There's something about, here it is. You found it? Okay, no, I haven't found it, but I know it has to do with unemployment. There's, there's something, there's something about that. Well, and just I will all just of these big grammars that well, we keep seeing I, in the news. And I'm, I'm just all. speechless. Meanwhile, people are calling them. Um, they are agitating that our president um, should should uh, what's it called visit the uh, the what's the he should leave the aura or something. I don't want to talk about that matter. I think I'm tired of it. Okay, so the 1.5 billion mm. is up now. It's, um, it's a part of Nigeria's COVID-19 action recovery and stimulus program for results. Mm. It's supposed to increase access to social transfers and basic services, as well as provide grants to poor and vulnerable houses. You know, some of this. See, when I hear those things about poor, like, poor and vulnerable, what classify? You know what? I'm not the finance expert. When we have Tammy. But Timmy, we should have Tammy. Like, even, yeah. if, even if she doesn't come yeah. to the studio anytime soon, maybe like a phone no, call. No, definitely. When we have Tammy, we're going to have Tammy next week. So I'll bring back this story and ask her, please, explain it for me. So yeah, let her go should. and do research. <laughs> so today we're not talking um, finance matter. We're talking about um, domestic violence because it's really something that has been, you know, very, very It's been common, reoccurring. Reoccurring, yeah. It's been common lately and... Um, I see so many mistakes a lot of people making when it comes to handling cases of violence. Mm. And I'm so happy that we're having this conversation today. So we'll be talking about um, the legal approach to domestic violence when we come back from the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 